The GigaNet Category 6A shielded toolless jack is fully standards compliant to 500 MHz and when installed as part of a GigaNet Category 6A channel supports 10 gigabit per second Ethernet up to a distance of 100 meters. The connector comprises a shielded RJ45 jack with insulation displacement clips and a plastic wiring cap. It's also supplied with a copper foil, a cable tie and a dust cap. The wiring cap has colour-coded labels to indicate the correct conductor locations for both the T568A and T568B wiring codes. Once terminated to the cable, the connectors simply clip into the back of the GigaNet faceplate and patch panel. For channel performance above 500 MHz, GigaNet recommends the use of braid and foil SFTP data cable. However, the connector also provides full 10 gigabit support when used with foil shielded FFTP cable and can also be used with FUTP cable. The recommended GigaNet tools for cable termination are the GN561010 cable stripper and the GN561071 cutting tool. Suitable parallel jaw pliers will also be required. The cable stripper can be used on a variety of cable types, but for removing the jacket of GigaNet shielded cable, only the front blade is needed. Use a small crosshead screwdriver to adjust the cutting depth of the blade so that it scores through the jacket of a piece of scrap cable without cutting through to the wires underneath. Make a mark on the jacket 30 millimeters from the cable end. For FFTP cable, Use the cable stripper to score and remove about 10 millimeters of the cable jacket. Snip the jacket adjacent to the drain wire and, using it as a ripcord, pull the wire back down the cable to the 30 millimeter point. Separate the jacket from the foil and trim away the jacket, leaving the foil and drain wire in place. Fold the exposed foil and drain wire back down the cable. When using SFTP cable, remove the cable jacket, roll the exposed braid back down the cable and wrap it with the supplied copper tape. Cut away the aluminium foil of each pair. Push the cable into the termination cap and fan out all four twisted pairs. Following the instructions of the colour-coded wire positions printed on the termination cap, fit the conductors into the slots, making sure that they're fully seated in their correct positions. Cut off and clear the excess wires. Fit the termination cap to the rear of the outlet, making sure that the arrowhead on the cap is aligned with the arrowhead on the outlet. Bring the two shielding halves towards each other and snap them together using parallel jaw pliers. Finally, secure the assembly by placing the cable tie around the back of the connector shields. Trim away the drain wire. To fit the connector into the GigaNet faceplate, snap it in place as shown here. The connector fits into the rear of the GigaNet shielded panel in the same way, and once fully inserted, is automatically earth bonded to the panel. 
a grounding wire is included with the panel so that it can be earthed in accordance with the prevailing electrical codes or standards. A cable management bar is also included with the panel to facilitate cable bundle dressing. The GigaNet Category 6A shielded cabling system is eligible for the GigaNet 25-year system warranty. For more details of this and the full GigaNet product set, visit www.giga-net.co.uk.